Alright folks, welcome back to another video. So quick spin around the ingredients. We have a six rib pork roast. We'll get back to that in a second. Uh, we got some butter, smoked paprika, salt, pepper. There's only one. Liam Perrin's Worcester sauce. A little oil. Some Pinot Grigio white wine. Some bay leaves. Garlic. We're going to kick it up a notch with that. Alright, so the pork roast. Uh, the wife brought this home. Asked me to do something with it and I was immediately overwhelmed <laughs> uh, because it's just uh, her and I and the little guy, right? So your classic six rib roast, uh, pork loin, uh, if you're a deer hunter or anything like that, <clears throat> that would be your back strap. Uh, a lot of people, you know, tenderloin is what it's often called, but uh, tenderloin is a totally two different cuts of meat. Uh, they're small pieces uh, by the back loin uh, and ribs or what have you. Uh, this is this would be the equivalent of the back strap, uh, and it's also known as a loin. Uh, again, venison they call it tenderloin more often than not. So this is a bone-in again six rib roast uh, way too much for her and I and the little dude is not going to eat this he's into the chicken nugget mac and cheese type of deal so rather than cook this whole thing up as a roast at this time I've decided I'm going to cut it down into chops uh, so that's what we're going to do with it uh, we're going to marinate them in the Portuguese sauce I'm going to change it up a little bit again with the sazon uh, opposed to the last venison steak I did but uh, same idea mostly the same ingredients uh, all I did was change out the uh, hot sauce for the sazon uh, and the hot sauce isn't really traditional Portuguese I get it but it is what it is so I'm gonna cut these up again into chops we're gonna marinate them in that Portuguese sauce I had a lot of questions on could you do this with chicken pork fish so on and so on uh, and the answer is yes you absolutely can so that's what we're gonna do so let me get this out of the package we'll uh, cut this up into chops and uh, marinate them up look at that chop so this roast didn't really show it earlier but still has part of the backbone in uh, and typically what I would do is uh, just chime that out you know cut it along the ribs bone it out with my knife and just leave these rib bones uh, and less the backbone but if you have a good solid knife like I do classic butcher style knife uh, you can make easy work of that so right between each rib bone obviously get down a little bit of work not too bad right through lovely chop So we'll do these last four and get the marinade on. Alright, so like I said, tip your typical, you know, six rib roast that comes from the best side of the uh, animal uh, up towards the shoulder area. Uh, so the best end would be, you know, the rib section up towards the shoulder area. Your loin end is more towards the back. Um, after the ribs uh, in between the end of the ribs and the rump steak so two beautiful bone-in pork chops there again that's the equivalent of your back strap uh, so we're going to get them in the bowl there we're going to make our wipe my hands off here Portuguese sauce so some white wine in there. Oh, 
go all in there. The rest of the Pinot Grigio. We're going to do a little bit of olive oil. Just a touch and probably the rest of that as well. Good stuff right there. So we'll get the sazon in. Couple bay leaves again, not so fresh this time of the year. It is winter time, but we'll get a couple of those in there. Smoked paprika. Good bit of that in. Again, maybe a tablespoon, I guess. Liam Perrin's Worcester sauce. Maybe a tablespoon and a half, maybe two. Uh, some salt and pepper. Some garlic. I've got uh, five small cloves and I'm going to chop them again pretty rough. Give that a little mix up. Throw your garlic on the floor, it's all good. That fat cat. Good grief. Pork. Can I go around like a Portuguese staple? Alright, so we're going to throw some cling film on that, get it in the fridge, minimum two hours. Again, if you do overnight, all the better. Uh, but we'll, you know, at, at about an hour, we'll come in and give that another mix up, uh, flip the meat uh, so they evenly season. Uh, we should be good from there. Alright, folks, so a couple hours in the fridge, uh, cling film on the top, took that off. This has been sitting here for half an hour. Uh, out of the fridge, room temperature. See that garlic, Portuguese sauce there. Get my spoon buried. <laughs> but uh, So we got a pan here. And what we're going to do with this, opposed to the couple steaks that we've done, uh, we definitely are going to sear them to get some color in the pan, like as per usual. However, we're going to reverse sear these put them in that pan right there in the oven preheated to 450 Fahrenheit and we're going to cook those off till the proper temperature and then we're going to sear them alright so pork's in the oven got the fry pan here we're just going to Go ahead and reduce our sauce down. So after we take the pork out, sear it on both sides, we'll have our sauce to finish that off.
cold right there. Right in our saucepan. So excuse the presentation, but get this plated up. One chop, a little wife, some bread, uh, some salad. So uh, I'll take one of those. Hey, Saju, eat it. That's all loveliness. Put that lovely Portuguese sauce we made. garlic bread and help ourselves to the salad so there it is finished dish we have a bone-in pork loin rib roast that we cut down to chops uh, serving individual obviously uh, opposed to a big roast Sarge is ready to dig in too huh I don't blame you buddy I don't blame you you'll get some so uh, there you have it hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you soon with another one. Take care.